In this video, I'll show you how to find the centroid of a simple composite shape. The question reads, find the location of the centroid of the shape shown below. Keep in mind that the word centroid is a term used to define where the center of gravity lies in a shape or 3D object. What we have to do in this particular problem is split it into known shapes. So this is a composite shape, meaning that it's made up of many different shapes. We have a rectangle here, we have a square here, another rectangle. So let's break it down and find the area of each. Let's go ahead and do that. We'll call this one number one, this two, and this three. Let's find the area of the first one. We have four by 10, which is 40 centimeters squared. The area of the next one is four by four. That's 16 centimeters squared. And the area of this one is 2 by 10. 2 by 10, which is 20 centimeters squared. Now that we've calculated the area of each individual, we have to add it up, and we end up with 40 plus 16 plus 20 is 76 centimeters squared. We'll use this later on to find properties of the centroid. Next, what we have to do is find the centroid of each of these individual shapes. Let's start with the first one. And let's put this shape on an xy plane. So if I call this my y-axis, and this my x-axis, I should end up with something that looks like this. There it is, so we'll call this my y-axis, and this my x-axis. The centroid of this shape will be the midway point between here to here, which is five, and the midway point from here to here, which is one. So our centroid lies at five and one. The centroid for this square, remember this square is four by four, and four divided by two is two, but we know that the distance from here to here is four plus two, that means that the x-axis of the centroid here is six, from here to here is two, four divided by two is two, so two plus two is four. We have a y-axis of four. And lastly, the centroid of this rectangle, the center point, will be two units along this dimension and five units along this dimension. So it's going to be five by, we said two over here, and it goes up all the way to 10. So five by eight is the centroid. Once you've done that, you have to find the moment about each axis. And we're going to call the moment about the y-axis m subscript y, and the moment about the x-axis m subscript x. To find the moment about the y, m subscript y, we will use the formula moment is equal to the area times the distance to the centroid. So we'll take the area of each and multiply it to the perpendicular distance of its centroid. So since we are doing it about the y-axis, we'll multiply the area of 40 by 5. And the reason why we multiply by 5 and not 8 is because remember that the definition of moment, whether it's about the moment of an area, volume, or mass, is that times the perpendicular distance from the point to the line of action. So we always take the opposing coordinate to multiply. That being said, to find m subscript y for each of these regions, the first will be 40 times 5. For this, we'll take 16 times 6 and 20 times 5. We'll add these up and divide by the total area. So adding these up, we end up with 396 centimeters cubed. And if we take this number, 396, and divide it by the area, of 76 centimeters squared, remember this is centimeters cubed, we end up with the x-coordinate of the centroid. So this cancels out, leaving us with 5.21 centimeters. We'll now have to do the same thing for the moment about the x-axis. So I'll write down m subscript x, we'll take the area 40 times, this time 8, 16 times 4, and 20 times 1. 
Multiplying and adding all of these up, we end up with 404 centimeters cubed. Y bar is equal to 404 centimeters cubed over our area, which is equal to 5.32 centimeters. So our centroid for this composite figure lies at 5.21 and 5.32. Let's see where that is. That's approximately 5. And up here would be the center of gravity. So there you have it. That is how to find the centroid of simple composite shapes.